good morning march 24th 2024 it's a beautiful sunday morning actually it's a bit windy i don't know if you could hear the wind but the wind is howling let's take a look over there i don't know if you could see uh, my wood pile my wood pile uh tarp is flying away so i'm gonna have to fix that okay i am here Today, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna build something, fix something, clean something up. I don't know, I wanna be productive, do something. I guess first things first is make sure my tarp doesn't fly away. And then, whoa, look at the wind. It is windy. Okay, anyways, I gotta get to work. I gotta start in something. Well, definitely the tarp. Definitely a tarp, that's first thing first. Get some firewood into the wheelbarrow. get to work okay I got a half a wheelbarrow load that's about all that I'll need for today and look at this it's like a parachute I gotta throw this tarp over secure it to keep my wood dry all right let's go to work Okay, so first things first, the wind has knocked out that piece of uh, aluminum that's on the roof. So I'm just gonna tack it on and uh, just so that it doesn't get blown away. And then in the springtime when the snow is all gone, I'll be able to do a better job. Anyways. I gotta get that done before it flies away into the old man's house. Okay, so I got it fixed. I just threw a couple nails into it just to hold it down so that the wind doesn't carry away my aluminum roofing. Okay, that problem solved. Let's go see what else we can do. Okay, I got another little project that I wanna do. So right over here, this is where the old lady that uh, used to own this place before we bought it off her. She used to have grapes over here and over there. Well, these grapes right here, uh, they usually climb up and they go to the height of this rebar over here. And then she would put a string across. Anyways, what I want to do is I want to make a better, uh, I don't know, Let's call it a contraption. No, like a nice trellis so that the grapes can actually grow on it. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make something that's better than what is here right now. All right, let's go to work. Let's uh, uncover Mad Max. Let's find the right lumber and let's start building. Okay, I got three pieces here uh two by twos this one right here i'm not going to use it i just realized that it's crooked in the center so that would have to be cut i could still build something with it so anyways i'm gonna have this one and this one these are going to be my sides the bases the sides that i'm going to have standing up vertical all right now let's cut them to length and try find what pieces i'm going to have going across okay just my luck just as soon as i made my cut and the power went out so i don't know what to do now um maybe there's a tree that fell over the line look at that you could probably hear it right now so it is pretty windy there's probably a tree that blew over the power line so i'm gonna have to shut her down that's a Sunday anyways. I'm gonna go home, spend some time with my boys. And uh, maybe I'll go check out my dam before I leave. It's only like lunchtime right now. So I feel that I haven't really done much. Well, I did. I managed to tighten that up over there so the roof won't fly away. And I got my next project ready. I think I know what I'm going to be doing. I'm definitely going to be replacing the grape trellis. 
that's over there the old one with the new one anyways yeah and i've got my firewood all tarped up over there but the power's down i can't do any sanding i can't do any cutting so i might as well go check out the little creek make sure that the water is flowing over that's that all right let's go check out the creek well we're here at the creek and everything looks okay so there it is it's flowing it's not much that i could do here here let's uh let's turn the camera around okay so there's not much that we can do i can't get it to go any deeper because it's uh right on the bridge here and let's just hope that uh once it starts melting it will still come through here instead of way down over there to cross the road so that's it not much i could do here it's going it's going along just fine and uh when i come back next week i'm sure this is all going to be melted and maybe even the pipe will have melted so that the water can run under the road all right gotta go okay so as i was walking back from the creek i had my shovels here and i thought you know what i'm not done i can't leave i got one more thing that i want to do so right behind me uh the snow has already melted the path and i've got like these piles here and that so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use the shovel and just shovel some snow right onto the grass and we'll be able to melt it faster especially this because what's going to end up happening is the snow in the lawn on the lawn and in the uh, flower garden are all going to be or everything's going to be melted and then there's going to be this mount everest right in the middle of the lawn so i figured let's get a head start let's throw some of it onto the grass here and it'll melt so i'm not going to be around for another week Next time I'll come will be probably in five days on Friday. So everything will be melted, hopefully. Uh, the weather forecast is supposed to be between minus four and plus four for the rest of the week with blowing wind and I guess a little bit of rain and mixed snow. So it'll help to uh, melt everything. Okay better get to work okay now I'm done and I'm gonna go home but before I go I want to show you what we did or what I did there it is through the snow onto the path knock down this mound a little bit I want to end up pushing that over there because the sooner I can get that melted then I can start bringing the car down once our a uh, little street road is passable again and of course I've got this right here so that's that now I feel like I've actually done something otherwise what's the point drive out here to, I don't know it takes me about 40 45 minutes only to have the power <laughs> cut off now crossing my fingers that uh there's no tree blocking my exit that would really suck really windy I better get going all right take care see you later paka, paka. okay just thought I'd also share with you guys here's what our road looks like right now believe it or not this is better than it was a week ago so it's melting and uh, it's about a kilometer of this kind of gravel until we hit the pavement and then it's just a straight shot no problem all the way home so probably when I come back next week this is all just gonna be gravel and everything should be back to normal anyways I just thought I'd show you what the conditions are like on the way to our dacha okay time to go home